Sometimes we can see this data type over here called ABC123, which means generic, okay? General version of data. This is the data that Power Query didn't recognize yet. So how can we fix? There are two ways. Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query video. And today I'd like to share with you guys how can we change the data types in our data source. Let's do it together. Guys, here you already seen my screen, so let's start with the way that we already use it multiple times with you. So load sample data. So I'll click just try sample data, then load, then select one of these. I'm gonna go with financial. Then instead load, please click on transform data, right? Once you click it, you see this window over here on this window we can start so today i'd like to share with you how to change data type on power query easily in a easily way so before I continue let's just remove this change type that power query already applied in our data set so once we remove it i would like to share with you how to do it not to use the power query way okay but but it's good to know that always power query try to understand our data and change the data types automatically okay this is the normal path that power query does always when we upload a new data set but sometimes we can see this data type over here called abc123 which means generic okay general version of data this is the data that power query didn't recognize yet so how can we fix there are two ways the first one is a manual way that we go column by column and then we check and then we change for example, I can click on this ABC123 and then select one data type from this list that Parquet already showed me. So decimal number, fixed decimal, wall number, percentage, date time, date time, date time, time zone, duration, text, true or false, which means Boolean, uh, binary, or N, and also I can uh, adding this using local, but local, this means lo localization that you want to use in order to change the data type, but this will be for future videos, not today. In this case, for example, segment, I know it's a text one, so I go here and click here. And then I can see that I have already one step called change type in my Power Query, so I just needed to move on, move forward and change the others. So this one will be text, this one will be text. And as you can see in the right side, Power Query will apply all these transformations in one single change type step over here in the right, uh, in the right section that we, we have applied steps, right? So don't be stress it about it because sometimes people just think that power query you add more than one uh, step in order for uh, follow each change that i want to do in my data set but it's not true there is only one uh, one step applied with all the change that you do over here however i have lots of columns and i don't want to do this one by one i want to do something that power query just automatically change all the columns all the fields with the their proper data type how can i do it i just go over here in this part of my page and i need to go to transform this is something that you have to learn guys we have here home section transform section and add column sections what the difference between transform and add column the name says the difference so when you are looking for transform some columns that you already have in our data set the column to do it will be transformed when you are looking to add a new column in our data data set in order to have some data modeling new uh, data styles but uh, adding new columns you just go to add columns so this is the first hack that you needed to know you are looking for transform or add a new column depending on your answer go here or transform or adding columns depend of you i'm gonna go to transform because as we saw i want to change these data types over here so once i click on transform i will see here data type text because i have one column selected if i click on this i can see that now data type is called any which means general one 
But one step below, we have this detect data type. So if I click it over here, if I select it, all my data source like this using my shift and my keyboard and I click over here, detect data type, Power Query will automatically change all the data type in my data set okay at once so this is the best way to do it because with this step you don't have to go one by one but i just suggest you that once you do it just go again in each column and check how the change how the data type that power query apply for your field because sometimes for example i can have ear look at here year and power query just changed it for number one two three whole number but this is not true because here it's a dim dimension in my uh data set so i want to use years as a text not as a number because i don't want to do any calculation any formula using years so i will click it over here and then change manually to text then power query just showed me this window what is the meaning of this window uh, because Power Query already knows that you changed the data type uh, from the first data type that was received in the data source. If you are trying to change again, Power Query just will ask. This is a correction of something that you did uh, in a wrong way, or this is a new, actually a new step that you want to add in our uh, data modeling process. And then you just have to select over here which one better describe your situation in my case i wanted to replace current step that i applied because this actually is something that i did by mistake and i want to just to do in the right way right now so i'm gonna click on here replace current and then as you can see power query change it but not added any new step on my data modeling okay so this is the way that we change all the data types on power query so guys did you see it's really easy and simple to change the data types on power query let me know what do you think in the comments below and also if you have any doubts or concerns just leave in the comment below as well okay but don't forget to share this content for anyone that you think will be useful don't forget to thumbs up if you like it because sometimes you watch you like it but you didn't uh thumbs up so please consider it to thumbs up right now and also consider be a subscriber in our youtube channel in order to grow our youtube channel and then we can share more and more content about power query for more and more people okay that's all for today and see you in the next video bye